Let's take a look at some of the highlights in this release. One of the first things you'll notice is the new tab. From the Create page, you can access sample and recently opened files, product updates, and the online community. Use the Start Drawing tool to begin a new drawing from a default template, or choose from the list of available templates. Under Recent Documents, you can view and open your recent drawings. You can also pin a drawing to the list. On the Learn page, you'll find Getting Started videos, tips, and other online learning resources. The new dark-themed interface, combined with the traditional dark model space, minimizes the contrast between the drawing area and the surrounding tools. The status bar is also streamlined. You can choose what tools to display from the customization menu. With each new release, the ribbon offers additional contextual tabs, helping you access relevant tools with minimal effort. As you explore new tools, be sure to check out the help system. We added a new way for you to find the tools you need. Simply click on the button icon or the find link and an animated arrow draws your attention to the tool on the ribbon. We added Smooth Line Display to enhance the graphics experience. You can enable Smooth Line Display in the New Graphics Performance dialog box. Objects such as lines and circles, as well as drawing aids like grid lines, have a much smoother display. To add more visual enhancements, turn Hardware Acceleration on. While creating and editing objects, you now have an improved visual feedback. When selecting any object, its color will change and remains highlighted to clearly identify it as part of the selection set. We added Lasso Selection. Click in a blank area of the drawing and drag around the objects you want selected. The cursor has been enhanced with badges that reflect the state of common operations. We also added a preview for common editing commands. For example, when trimming an object, the segment to be removed is dimly displayed and the cursor badge indicates that the segment will be trimmed. Geographic location functionality is also enhanced. You can set the geographic location from a map using the Set Location tool. When using online map data, the Geographic Location dialog box will guide you through the process of specifying a geographic location. New tools on the Geolocation ribbon enable you to capture an area or a viewport for plotting. Explore the online help and other resources to learn more about the new features in this release.